AI Network. Cheng Yao, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, I want to begin and just ask you, what is it about Pi Network, um, if you had to explain it to a novice, that makes it so unique and advantageous for uh, crypto investors? Oh, first of all, our um, you know target audience is not necessarily investors. Uh, Pi is a, a utility token. We're targeting actually everyday people. Actually, the, one of the you know, mission of Pi is making cryptocurrency and blockchain technology as accessible as possible. And accessibility includes that, how can we, uh, you know, minimize the, the barrier to entry. Barrier to entry includes financial barrier to entry, which is referring to the investment part. Uh, that's part of the reason why Bitcoin is hard to enter later, uh, because it's so high, it requires a lot of money to enter for many ordinary people. Another aspect of barrier is technical barrier. Uh, that's why we make it uh, easy to mine and we make it the most successful in current day uh, is through a phone. Great. So as I understand it, the, the Pi coin can only be mined on the Pi network. Um, so why would I want to mine that coin instead of just the Bitcoin, which is, you know, the one that everybody, you know, and their mother wants to be in? Well, to follow from you know my last answer, basically the, the two reasons. One is uh, it's, for, it's free. Uh, everyone, as long as you are willing to make contribution to this network and ecosystem, can participate. Second thing is uh, easily done. Uh, you don't necessarily require some knowledge about computer science in order to set up a node, understanding the consensus algorithm in order to mine uh, like Bitcoin. And uh, you also don't need to spend a lot of money for your electricity. Uh, to run Bitcoin node. Uh, so that's why uh, it's easier to mine. You know, I want to come back to that point about energy because it's a it's a very mm -hmm. interesting one. Um, talk to me a little bit about the utility of the token. So if I mine it, what 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 do I what's the benefit to me as a as a user and a miner? So the, the vision of Pi is to actually building an ecosystem that is uh, having different kinds of uh, goods and services that are available uh, to be purchased as in Pi. And what type of goods and services is not just like the goods is not just the investment the product. Uh, the goods are just like the web two type of um, goods and services, meaning that it helps you um, bring you convenience or fulfill a need of yours that is outside of this, um, you know, um, lens of investment. It's literally for uh, uh, re practical uh, benefits than just uh you know uh, a return uh, understanding of a return gotcha gotcha it makes mm -hmm. sense it makes sense um have you raised any funding and, and how do you make money we uh, as you know the pi network is free uh to mine uh, so in terms of the you know token side we decided to give 80 percent of our uh, supply for free to mine um for by, by everyone and the 20 percent is uh goes to the, the core team and uh, out of uh, all the coins, we have never sold any coin. Uh, probably this is our, one of our effort to make it as compliant as possible. Uh, we have never run any ICO. We have never sold any token. Um, to support the business, we are running it just like any other Silicon Valley tech startup that we raise some funds uh, on, uh, on equity to support the, the operation of the company. Got you. Got you. Um, I want to go back to your point about energy, because uh, last week, uh, New York lawmakers passed a bill to ban for two years certain kinds of Bitcoin mining uh, that uses energy sources that are bad for the environment. Um, it's now waiting a final signature from the governor of New York. Um, a lot of folks are looking at that story as kind of a barometer of what might happen you know, in the rest of the country by other states. Um, do you think that's a good move? And how do you think that aff affects Pi Network, especially your point earlier about you know lower energy usage? Well, its impact on Pi Network is, I guess, it's um, it's not necessarily directly impacting us because we're completely using a different type of consensus algorithm that is different from proof of work. Mm -hmm. um, we're using, um, you know, a federated bystanding agreement, uh, by which I mean, um, it's relying on a trust graph instead of energy. So this consensus algorithm relying on a trust graph to um, dynamically form quorums, which is a subset of the nodes. And inside the quorum, nodes are sending messages to each other in regard to whether they think this transaction is true or fraudulent. And then this consensus algorithm can reach finality of making a decision, okay, to make that determine 
for the uh, determination for the network and write it on the ledger. So based on what I described, it's uh, relying on a trust graph, which is why all, what all these uh, mobile phone users are contributing to, and that's why they're mining, the mobile miners. And then relying on that, the, the nodes are making decisions by transacting, you know, um, messaging each other about their agreement or disagreement. By saying that, you can understand that any laptop today are able to be online and being able to message each other um, uh, on the internet. So that's why by nature, this algorithm doesn't re necessarily rely on energy. And that is the fundamental reason why Pi Network is not consuming a lot of energy like the classic proof of work consensus algorithm. Understood. Uh, final question, you know, Pi Network has a, a huge following worldwide. Uh, to what do you attribute your success and what is needed to further amplify the presence of Pi Network uh, in the United States? Well, we are actually, um, because I guess our headquarter, a uh, uh, big part of our team are actually located in U.S. U.S. is actually one of the biggest uh, community of uh, um, of Pi Network. Um, however, Pi Network is a world project. Actually, we have over 230 countries um, distributed uh, users from pioneers from all over these countries, almost every region of the world now. Um, we are, you know, not necessarily trying to um, increase a certain population because it's a world project, um, but um, in order to build on top of, uh, you know, to grow in every region, we need to basically continue cultivating more utility, utilities, continue, continue to build our community, um, continue to hold, you know, uh, bolster our sense of identity of being part of the Pi Network. And it's from the, uh, the bottom layer, the, 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 the blockchain layer, the social structure layer, the cultural layer, all three uh, layers as a full stack of building a full vibrant ecosystem of Pi Network. What a fascinating company that you, uh, you built. And uh, we thank you for sharing uh, some of the, the insights with us on, on uh, what you're working on, uh, how it works, and, uh, and your thoughts uh, on its future growth. Sheng Yu uh, Fan, we uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much for taking the time and joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.